Hi boys and girls, welcome back to your Friday CM lunch break. I'm so excited to be here with you again today. You know, we've got some exciting things that are coming up, but I'm gonna get to that at the end of my video. You may be wondering, why is Miss Julie always wearing her pajamas? Well, that's gonna come into play as to what we're doing that we're really excited about. So first, let's start backwards. We're gonna read our God letters first, and then we're gonna end our session with some super fun, exciting news, okay? Our first letter today is, Dear God, are you telling me something? Maybe you're walking along a beach, riding your bike, or waiting to fall asleep in your cozy bed, when all of a sudden, you feel God is trying to tell you something. Be still and pay close attention, and you'll know what the message is. For example, the constant whoosh of the waves on the shore just might be God's way of whispering, I'll always, always, be here for you, and that'll never change. That comes from Jeremiah 10.1. Hear what the Lord says to you. You know, we've got a lot of downtime these days, and what a perfect time for us to train our ear to hear God's voice. I'd love to hear stories if you've been able to encounter God while you've been at home. What has he said to you? What has he whispered in your ear? How has he comforted you? Because right now, more than ever, we want to hear what God has planned for us. We want to see God and what's going on in our world today. And we want to know what he thinks of us. Our second letter says, Dear God, give me a hint. Where are you? I can't see you. I can't hear your voice. I'm having a rough time following. Please help me find you. When I have difficulty hearing God's voice, I ask God to open my ears I learn to say, stay silent, and I quietly listen. The Lord speaks to my heart. I must obey his instructions. If I have a rough time obeying his instructions, I ask God to help me. The Lord quickly answers my call. That comes from James 1, 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and it shall be given to him. That kind of goes along with the last letter we heard. What if you're not hearing God's voice? What if you can't see God in your daily life or in what he's doing in this world? What do we do then? Sounds easy enough, should be easy enough, but it's probably not. But what we need to do is just sit and be silent and just wait. Gosh, I know myself, I'm pretty impatient and I want things to happen instantly and I want prayers to be answered instantly and just this instant gratification. But that's not how God works all the time. Sometimes he wants us to quiet our voice. He wants to quiet the noise that's going on in our head. And he just wants us to sit for a minute. One way you can do that, boys and girls, is if you close your eyes in a safe place in your house or in the backyard even, and you just take a deep breath. And just say, God, I welcome you in this place. And I bet you, he's gonna meet you right in that place. So I challenge you more, I encourage you to find a place in your home, find a place in your yard that you just feel comfy and cozy and you want that to become your place with God. Go there this week, sit, listen, see what he has to say. And if you feel like sharing, oh, I would love to hear what God said to you. I really pray you use this time that we're not always busy to find God and to see what he has for you. Lord, I just thank you for this time, God. I thank you that in the craziness and in the loneliness, God, you're always with us and you're always speaking. So God, I just pray for quiet moments. I pray that you shut off our minds, God, and that you open our ears to hear your voice. And God, I ask more than ever that you come and you just whisper your loving thoughts to our kids today, God. We love you and we praise you in your precious name. Amen. Well, boys and girls, we have something so super exciting coming for you this weekend. Let's go back to why Miss Julie's wearing her pajamas. You may remember that last Friday, I said we were gonna have a CM breakfast together. Well, guess what? This Sunday, it's happening. Everybody say, it's happening. Yes, we are calling it the CM Zoom Room. Now, 
some of you who are doing black classes online, you may know what Zoom is. Um, it's an online platform that allows us to interact together through our phones or our iPads or our computers, whatever we have that has a camera and has the internet, we're able to connect to one another. Um, and we are going to open up a CM Zoom room this Sunday at 9.45 a.m. That way moms and dads, they can get you set up and then go downstairs or go in a different room and they can enjoy service while you're enjoying some time with your CM teachers. Now, some of you may already know some Zoom rules, but in case you don't, I want to go over some really important rules about Zoom. There's a mute button on all of the apps or on the website, however you're accessing Zoom, and that mute button needs to be on at all times. And let me give you an example why. Sometimes you may not know, but I can hear a parent or a sibling or somebody yelling at you in the background. It may sound kind of like this. Hey, Miss Julie. See how that could interrupt what we're saying or what we're doing? Some other things that can happen. You got to remember, we see you. We want to see your cute, beautiful, handsome little faces, but sometimes you might tilt the camera and all of a sudden you're out of view. Wait, wait, hey, where'd you go? What? See, all of a sudden, you couldn't see me anymore. I want to see your beautiful little faces. So you want to make sure that you keep the camera really, really still during the session. Now, we talked about it's going to be breakfast time. Some of us are going to be eating some yummy toast or some crunchy cereal, but I can tell you what I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear this. Yeah. That, that's not fun at all. Nobody wants to hear that. And last but not least, boys and girls, everybody does it. It's not going to be a new thing, but I can tell you, I don't want to hear this or this. Yeah, those things will happen on Zoom too. So we want to make sure that our mic is always muted, that our camera is always held still, um, we're going to have some questions, we're going to have some games, we're going to have a Bible story, we're going to have worship, um, and we want the mic button muted at all times, but if you have a question or you want to say something or contribute something, just raise your hand, we'll all be able to see you, as long as your camera's on and as long as it's pointing to you, we'll be able to see you raising your hand. We'll go ahead and let you unmic or excuse me, unmute your microphone, you can ask that question, and then we're going to have you mute it, mute it right back, okay? We'll go over all these rules again as soon as we open up the CM Zoom room. But for now, that's all I have. I look forward to seeing all of you and actually seeing all of your handsome, beautiful, gorgeous, funny, silly little faces Sunday morning at 9.45 a.m. Bye, boys and girls. We'll see you then.